Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Skywatch Television. I'm Joe Artis Horn. Today, we're going to continue a discussion that we started last week on the life of my father, Dr. Thomas Horn, who went to be with Jesus on October 20 of this year. And we're going to do our best to continue sharing memories, mm. kind of take a step back and share some of the organic bits and parts of his life that never made it to camera. We talked a bit last week about some of his books and what it was like to be in the public sphere, yeah. featured on television programs and documentary shows, and just a volume of work that is so titanous that it eclipses the sun in my view. But we've not been very public, as dad was a very private person, about what it was like to be a young pastor or share memories about what it was like to be the son or the daughters or the daughter-in-laws or what have you. So if you missed last week, go back. Uh, surprisingly, we did some laughing <laughs> about his happy little burning bowl gift to Donna at the 4th of July one year. <laughs> Just various, various silly things that we're sitting here organically recalling as none of this is scripted. And we're going to do what we can to answer questions that you may have about how we're doing as a family and so many of you are wanting to support. In fact, I failed to mention this in program one last week, but take a look at this news desk. This is just a tithing of what has recently come in from you, our Skywatch family, in response to wanting to show love and support. Yeah. These are letters. Yeah, These cards. are letters and cards. A lot of meaningful A lot written. of very meaningfully It's like personally scriptures written. and encouragement yeah. and lots of things that say he's physically not here. Yeah. But that's okay too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's all over the board. And every bit of it's comforting to know that you cared enough to send that. Well, and it's stories, that. too, of uh -huh. how yes. he touched their life, and yes. that's been very cool to hear and to yeah. see as well. This is probably a, yes. a perfect segue to talk about the Skywatch family, and I'll just do this as quickly yeah. as I can. But when my father went into the ICU, which started just an, uh, a routine check, they thought they were going to look to rule out a hiatal hernia on October 11. Right. They were planning to do an angiogram. And he had passed with flying colors, perfect nutrition, perfect yeah. blood pressure, perfect blood sugar. He's walking on a Oxygen treadmill. Oxygen level, eating on, and all of it. He had gone down in about 24 hours prior to that date so quickly mm -hmm. that by the time he walked in, the doctors informed my mother that he was having an active, end-of-life, catastrophic widow-maker heart attack. And ER doctors had missed this just days before, but that catastrophic heart attack while he was in the ICU, I went to Facebook Live for the first time that I mm -hmm. have any memories of going to Facebook Live in any meaningful way because I was wanting to drum up support from our viewers. But I had to get consent from my father, who was suffering a lot at the time yeah. and not able to answer a lot of questions and in colossal pain. And it was very difficult to see him those first couple of days in the ICU. And he said the words. And it shocked me when he said it. Because <laughs> nobody was asking him for consent at the time. I was looping about, should I do something on Facebook Live? Should I? So it must have been the Holy Spirit, because I walked into the room and he goes, he wasn't able to open his eyes, but he said, Nita, someone needs to let our Skywatch family know what's going on. They yeah. deserve to know. And if you followed the Facebook Lives, I believe they're still Brittany. They're online. I think they're you can on find YouTube, them on YouTube, Facebook, Facebook. Roku, you can go back yeah. and, and look this up. I recall telling everybody while I went live that this was kind of a break in familial protocol. Mm -hmm. yep. Yes. Because we slash my father, historically, very, very private people. Mm -hmm. Yes. And if my dad was not well, he didn't want people worrying about him. And he used to say things like, everybody's going through stuff. Yeah. Yep. And they've only got so much energy to throw right. so many prayers. Yep. Right. You know, I'll pray for myself and they can pray yep. for their own matters of difficulty. He did not want to become the center of. Right. Right. You know, yeah. or, or for people to think that he was capitalizing on or right. conflating something. This That's is why you never knew until he had gotten into serious trouble with his health that he had been for, for a few years Grappling, and I think that God and nutrition and a bunch of stuff bought him a lot of times. Yes. yes. Many years. Having said all that, he said, our Skywatch family deserves to know what's happening. And when he did, you mm -hmm. guys are my witness. Yeah, we were all like, whoa. Was like not what we expected. I posted one picture online of him in the ICU, and it was one that he barely made out and consented. Yeah, he did say it was posting. okay to and do that. 
up until my father was not able to speak anymore, he was still talking about, I am not joking, future books yep. and what he yes. was planning yep. to do when he got home. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. The wheels never stopped. Not. Nope. I want to talk for a minute about this thing called the Skywatch family. Because I teased in those Facebook videos, you know, what is that? Well, you'll be relieved to know this is not a club or a membership that requires any paywall or financial participation. If you watch us, <laughs> anywhere that you watch us, whether it be Facebook or YouTube or Vimeo or Roku or on our Skywatch television app. Yep. If you have supported what we do at Whispering Ponies Ranch and Skywatch Television, if you've prayed with us for the work that we're doing as a television ministry and for the children that we serve at Whispering Ponies Ranch, then congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Your point of entry is already beyond. You are a part of the Skywatch family. There's no sliding tiers. There's no requirement that you participate in a specific package. Friends, when you watch our content from wherever you watch it from, regardless of whether you make donations to Whispering Ponies Ranch or support Skywatch Television with our package offers or any of that, which we very much depend on and we very much appreciate, but just watching our programming. Yeah. It lets the networks know that you're participating, that you're engaged. It lets our online internet algorithms know that you're participating, which then broadens the number of people that might happen upon yeah. it as a, others watched this, might have wanted to watch this. So yeah. the thing is, we're going to make a concerted effort moving forward. And a lot of stuff that we're going to talk about next year, Brittany. Yeah. I've got some wonderful ladies working on some things. Misha, thank you for being here today. Come on, you guys. We're going to do a lot of things that we're going to talk about in the future to really bolster and beef up this thing we're now calling the Skywatch family. And I'm going to make a concerted effort to re-communicate, as I've referred to you in the past, as viewers or supporters, as a more endearing moniker. Yeah. As being our Skywatch family. Because, listen, when we were there in the ICU, I was floored, moved, choked, wept at the outpour of yes. love from our viewers, yeah. Absolutely. our family members, yep. the people that have picked up you know, spiritual swords with us and prayed for, the, for these ministries. I remember when I started doing the Facebook Lives, I recall saying, I I'm not sure how successful these will be in terms of getting people to pay attention and to pray for dad. People's support usually diminishes very quickly. I've watched human nature yeah. and everybody's got a lot of stuff going on. They're very busy with their own difficulties. Yeah. So I don't blame people for having the attention span to carry a few days, but then emotionally, man, they are dealing with their own children. Exactly. Yeah. They're dealing with their own stuff. So that's not a judgment. That's not to downplay. Let me just say I was blown away. My family was blown away. Yes. Absolutely. At the holding power. Yes. Yeah. Those videos were gaining traction. Yes. Mm -hmm. People were starting to, you know, when's the next Facebook Live? Well, and the exactly, the they were starting to post on you. And then I was telling you, Joe, you probably need to do another update soon because people are starting to ask. Right. Because by like That's if right. 10 a.m., if something hadn't been yeah. posted, then people were like, right. how is he doing this morning? Right. What's the update? Yeah. Is everything okay? And people were really clamoring for that because they really were invested in your dad. Right. Everybody loved him. Well, and I can say even now, Having been a few weeks since he passed, our comments, that is the only thing people are talking about. Yeah. On every single video is how much they loved him. Yep. How, how much, much his ministry. Them. Yeah, just so much well, love. All of our messages. In the, on, in the call center, too. Yeah. The Skywatch family will present lots and lots of ways because this is what we're working on right now, ladies and gentlemen. Because of those Facebook Live experiences mm -hmm. and what we felt and reciprocated with you, our Skywatch family, we are putting some wheels in place now that hopefully, uh, as we move into 2024 especially, create some spaces where we can continue developing that relationship as not so much, you know, viewer and TV show, but family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just to give you a, a, a vague idea of what that might look like without getting into a lot of the details, because I want to get back to the life of my father, Dr. Thomas Horn. Um, we're going to be doing, and these are not paywalled events necessarily. These are going to be just organic opportunities. We're not asking that you buy this. Hey, if you want to be a part of the family, you have to give me X number of dollars. This is just something we want to do to engage with our Skywatch family. We're going to be doing live videos more mm -hmm. next year. In particularly, we're going to create events. 
maybe a, a, a live reaction viewing of some of our television programs where we hang out with you in chat rooms or take you know, fielded questions, give you an opportunity to talk with us about what you liked or what you thought and give you reactions to that kind of stuff. And this is where I'm getting a lot of support from smarter staff members that know how this works. <laughs> Doing more next year in particular to hang out with you, our Skywatch family, because we love you and we feel like um, sharing in those spaces was so important mm -hmm. to my father at the end of his life. And the first time we'd heard the words Skywatch family came from yeah. his lips. And I said, we, we need to do something. If he feels this way, it's time to involve our Skywatch family, then we, then we need to embrace this, move forward and do a lot more of that. And it just seems like based on what's already happened with some of these videos, Brittany, that our family members would be delighted to see more of that kind of interaction, right? Yeah, they are constantly messaging us, calling the call center, leaving comments, asking how all of us are doing, like, how's Joe, how's Nita? And it's just mm -hmm. an outpour of love. And it, it was totally unexpected, like right. the amount of people. Yeah. And even now people going back on videos and just like old Skywatch videos from right. two years ago and still leaving those kind right. of comments is just amazing. So this year we may spend some time with you over the holidays live. And if you're worried about, I don't have a Facebook, I don't go live, We'll be talking about the details of these platforms. And we'll where share them across find. everywhere that and we can. And they'll be, yeah, they'll be uploaded to all the platforms. So e even if you're at work and you missed it, it'll be on a platform that I'm sure you're following and you'll be able to, to catch it after the fact. Yeah. One of the other questions that we've had repeatedly, which kind of surprises me, because the, the television series that just finished, if you're watching this right now, you may have just finished the Legion series with my father mm -hmm. on his book, Legion. People are wondering if that's his last series. And I will tell you, unfortunately, it is his last television series. However, and you'll be the first if you're watching this right now from your homes to learn of this, because we've not said a peep of this anywhere or on any platform. My dad had finished one last book. Mm -hmm. Yep. And he had done it with the collaborative efforts of myself and Allie Anderson, who is with us today. And I am telling you, this is not to conflate things. I don't think the world is ready for what is in this book. I promise you it will break the internet. <laughs> it's gonna take people by storm. And we are gonna do everything that we can do next year around the month of March to have revealed it and make everybody aware of what he was up to before he passed. Yeah. But he had just finished his last manuscript and it's off to the typeset, it's being edited, it's being worked through the graphics designs yeah. and stuff. And other than that, I'm not going to say any more because I, I don't really want to get ahead of the proper rollout and the reveal for reasons that my father understood. You don't reveal until the time. But yes, he has one more. Legion was his last television series, but he has one more body of work that I suspect will break television and it will segue perfectly if we're all still here next March um, with what is happening throughout the world at that yeah. time. One last prophetic message from my father. Um, before we run out of time, Mom, I want to spend a few minutes talking about the latter part of Dad's life. His <laughs> joy. Do you know what I mean if I say a smile that transcends a photo? Yes. When you see someone's smile and it looks canned for a <laughs> photograph, and then there are those eyes. Yeah. My dad had those eyes, those gentle, sweet mm -hmm. eyes that just transcended the photo, and you almost felt it looking yeah. at the smile on photo. <laughs> well, we've gotten a lot of comments about that, too. It's like, oh, I'm going to miss his kind eyes. His and kind so eyes. And so many people have even mentioned that in, in their comments, in the cards, and in messages to you on your yeah. Facebook and stuff, they, they say, oh, we're going to miss his kind eyes. There was nothing that put a smile on my dad's face more <laughs> often or faster mm -hmm. than his belief in the work yeah. that is being done still mm -hmm. at Whispering yep. Ponies Ranch. Yeah. And don't forget that he was laid to rest in his WPR engineer Tom conductor clothing. Yeah. <laughs> that they will see in the Rescue Us series. My dad yeah. was working on this train and uh, he had bought uh, an engineer 
outfit with overalls <laughs> and a little engineer hat. And you guys have to understand that, that he was well aware of the most insidious and horrific parts of humanity. Yep. That's the part that would damage a child. That's the part that would wound a child. He was absolutely aware, He's not oblivious at all. Spent decades researching the occult. He knows exactly what these horrifying people are up to behind the scenes. He wanted to embody yeah. the absolute opposite. opposite of that. Absolutely. And every day that he served the children at Whispering Ponies Ranch, he was not an administrator <laughs> that administrated from a desk and then had you know, servants run around and take care of things for him as they fetch him coffee because he's too important to do the work. No, he was literally plunging the toilets. <laughs> yeah. Literally running yeah. the equipment. We have yeah. guests, Jeff Anderson, one of my best friends in the whole wide world here today, talk to me about watching my father drive the people mover and move the people around. Yep. If you knew him, you know those kind eyes. Yeah. It just, it, the Holy Spirit just bled out of him as yeah. he served yes. the kids at Whispering Point. And mom, that was the reason that you and he founded Whispering Ponies Ranch. That was his happy thought. Mm -hmm. and, and conversation, right? For most of your date days over yes. the last several years. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> would, would eventually, if you're on a date day, which was every Friday growing up in my life, eventually <laughs> it would be, well, let's get back to what's going on at the ranch. Yes. What are we building next? What are we doing next? Well, we talked about all of the businesses because it takes those other businesses to fund what we did at the ranch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus all of these amazing people that are partnering with us as well. But yes, our date days was, was pretty much a business meeting. <laughs> and it was this one, and then we would talk about that, but we always, the delight was the ranch. Yeah. What's going on at the ranch. And his favorite things at the ranch was the days he got to deliver pizza. Oh my goodness, I was gonna say that. And, was and he would that. hound <laughs> Catherine. He when, would. When is pizza day? What time do I have to have it? And it was like, she could answer, but then, then he would ask me, now did, did Catherine tell you all about it? <laughs> yes, Catherine will let you know when pizza day is. But that was one of his favorite things and he would go and himself yes. get all that pizza and bring it back to the kids. And then I think I only had to do it once. And that was because he still had to drive the tractor that day. Oh, yeah, the, that's right. It was the a The time conflict. to pick up the pizza because it was like 30-minute drive one way to get the pizza. And he still had to pick up the kids at the fishing hole to take them back. So he's like, well, unfortunately, I can't do it today. So I got to do it once. Yes. But I still had to call it in. But he was on me every week. Okay, what, what day's pizza day today? Yeah. And then he'd be calling me that day. Hey, <laughs> did you order the pizza? Yeah. I'm like, yes, I got the yeah. pizza. Well, ordered. and I worked at the ranch with Catherine yeah. a few years ago in the kitchen, and he would come inspect the food. He okay. yes. You guys need to put out more fruit next yes. time. Yeah. I saw yeah. the kids eating yep. that. Put out more of yeah. that next yes. time. Yeah. He, he wanted top day. notch he for did. those kids. It was it was more than a lot of places you would pay a lot of money oh, to yeah. go. He wanted the he wanted the fruit out there, and he yeah. wanted yep. a variety of things. And if they don't like this there's something else they can still eat and yeah he wanted to spoil those kids with food because a lot of those kids don't get regular yeah. meals or have at times in their lives had to you know hide food in their bedroom to keep enough of it or whatever yeah. so he, he wanted them to belly up all weekend long all week <laughs> snacks. The whole time. yeah fruit snacks bowl all out at all mm -hmm. time yeah we had to have fruit out every meal and lots of everything. The salad bar was insane. So, I mean, and that was all him. That literally was him. And we got to where we just knew what he wanted. And it's like, no, we can't do that because Tom wouldn't like it. Nope, you can't do that because Tom wouldn't like it. So it was always that. It's like, okay, what would make Tom happy to make these kids happy? But And one little thing, he would that. come eat the food too. Like it wasn't yes. food that was just for kids. Every lunch, dinner, yep. he would come eat too. Yeah. And that was he special. Did. I only saw my father cry, I want to say three times. I, I have three memories of, of him crying in you know the entirety of my existence. One of them was when his father passed away. It only lasted about six, seven minutes. And then he composed himself. And I'll skip to the very last one, um, was a story that he would often tell. If you've followed this program for any number of years, you've probably heard him tell this story, but there was a little boy that came up to Whispering Ponies Ranch. And this story always got to him. It was one of his favorite stories to tell. But there was a little boy running down, grabbing the fruit, and he had watermelon. And he was running around with his plate like this going, I'm eating like a king, I'm eating like a king. <laughs> and that just, that just 
burned a <laughs> hole in my yeah. dad's chest with that story. Mm -hmm. That the idea that this little boy was eating like a king uh -huh. to have fruit. Right. Yeah. Something that most people just take for <laughs> take granted. For granted. Sit yeah. there until the flies are buzzing and you know, a lot of kids are bored with fruit because it's it's the healthy option. But we've had a lot of comments, you know, how can we help? Yeah. What can we do? And you see these envelopes all over the news desk today and people have sent in dresses. We're going to talk mm -hmm. about that. Yeah. But in response to the need to make sure that the little girls of Whispering Ponies Ranch have uh, dresses that they can wear to their formal the events so yeah. that they can mm -hmm. be queen for a night or yes. what have you. Yeah. So many boxes of these yeah. beautiful yeah. dresses have come in. We're, we're going to give you a proper update on that very soon. And I said this on a video that's been on YouTube for about two and a half, three weeks now, and it's the same message. Yeah. Friends, we're okay. Our, our family, we, we love you very much. If you have a need to want to do something, you feel like Tom's legacy and his life was important to you and you've always believed in his ministry and you have this pent up need to want to do something, then I would offer you this. Under normal circumstances, when something like this happens, it is appropriate to say, pick a charity of your choice and support that yeah. one. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you without hesitation, the charity of my father's choice, uh -huh. if you have the yeah. need, if you have the need, to do something meaningful to help support that work continue, it would be Whispering Ponies Ranch. And yeah. you could do that by visiting skywatchtvstore.com and at the top right of the website, there's a great big donate button where you can go in and you can see the various ways that you can support yeah. that ministry. But if you have the need to feel like you've done something meaningful, then just know that would be very meaningful. And that's something we've talked about recently in our programming. The cost of everything is up at Whispering Ponies yeah. Ranch, and we're not going to get into the details of that in this particular episode, but I can tell you that that would be something that he yeah. would very much appreciate and, and was his happy spot on this earth to serve those kids. Mm -hmm. People have also asked, what will become of Skywatch Television? What will become of Defender Publishing? Um, what will you do with your program? What will happen with Whispering Ponies Ranch? And to collapse something that is multi-pronged and, and this giant spider web of blueprints and strategies, I'll collapse it to a 30-second soundbite. My father, in his brilliance, suspected that we might face the day, and he was absolutely fearless. Yeah. <laughs> he was. Had no fear of death whatsoever. And he reiterated that again while he was in the yes. ICU suffering. Yeah. Twice. He did. Twice. Mm -hmm. had no fear at all. When he went to the ICU, he even told me before he passed that he told the Lord, thank you for this wonderful life, for the wonderful family, for the wonderful opportunities that I've had in ministry. I'm ready to do more if you should keep me here. I'm ready to meet you if that's your plan. Had no fear whatsoever. And that's what he left us with. Yeah. Knowing that if God would say it's his time, that it would now become our moment to take what he has prepared us to do. Right. And to continue this wonderful work on every level that God right. has put in our hands mm -hmm. as a family that we've worked for all of these years. Right. Yeah. He totally accepted the possibility that we might be confronted by this difficult challenge. And I will tell you that many plans and many strategies were long in place before the time. Yeah. So we are not as a ministry, we are not as a Whispering Ponies Ranch effort, we are not as right. a Defender Publishing, Publishing House now scrambling to try to answer this question. And that is a very broad, very generic oversimplification of things. My father served, he is still serving. Yes. In the legacy and the yes. blueprints that he left for yes, us. Yes, he did. Yes. So friends, with your help, with your help, Skywatch Television and Whispering Ponies Ranch is only getting started. Yep. yep. That's right. To our Skywatch family, thank you for those of you that joined us during our yes. difficulties at the ICU in prayer for my father. Sorry. Donna Howell said it best when we lost him here that God did answer those prayers and that he did heal my father. He gave him the ultimate healing. Yeah. And I view this as a short separation because in the times that we're living in, yes. all of our days are numbered. I will get to see my dad again. Yeah. Yeah. And that is the beauty of a dynamic where you have a savior figure 
yes. who can offer you eternal life through salvation. Yes. Death does not have to be this final moment of blackness and fear and, and then therein there is nothing. Right. We can look yeah. forward to that heavenly reunion in <clears throat> Jesus' name. So friends, thank you so much. Thank Our Skywatch family, everybody here in studio, everybody up here on panel who have joined me today yeah. to spend just a tiny, tiny, tiny modicum of time recapping a titanous, legendary career and life of my father, Dr. Thomas Horn. Keep your eyes on the prize, which is Jesus Christ. We'll be back. Walk through the gate.